welcome back to It's Just Another Shilling. I am Teresa and I am so excited. Today we have a fun treat. My best friend is over here with her kid and she brought a bouncy house. Those kids are out there right now playing and having super fun while we get ready for dinner. She asked me what I wanted to have for dinner tonight. I said red meat. So we ran over to Aldi, grabbed some steaks, uh, bell peppers and zucchinis and we're going to go ahead and grill them all. It is way too hot to be cooking in the house. Uh, so come along with me and let's get started. The first thing we're going to do today is we are going to cut up our zucchini. It's going to get cut into about a quarter inch of a slice. This is a really good thickness because um, when you go a little bit thinner than this, the zucchini becomes mushy and sort of gross when it's overcooked. When you go thicker than this, it just takes a lot longer to cook it up. Uh, so keep it right around this size and you will have the best flavor, best taste, and a little bit of crunch when you go to make the, or eat the zucchini. So to season this, I kept it incredibly simple. I have my Trader Joe's olive oil. I'm going to put probably about a third of a cup, quarter to a third of a cup on there. And then it's just going to be salt and pepper. Um, I will put a link on my Facebook page to where I got these salt and pepper shakers. I love them. They have glass bottoms and a metal top and they actually give a pretty good consistent product all the time. Um, they're probably my favorite thing to use when I'm making my savory foods. So we're going to go ahead and just get um, a couple of shakes of the salt and a couple of shakes of the pepper on there. Give them a little toss and then we're going to move on to the next vegetable. I know you guys have seen me with the baby bell peppers before, but they're actually honestly a favorite in our house. We have them in the fridge all the time. We like eating them raw with dip. We like eating them cooked. I cut them up and throw them into spaghetti. They're generally all around something that we use on a pretty regular basis here in our household. Um, I'm going to do the same thing, pour them out of the bag, about, I don't know, two or three tablespoons of olive oil and then again with the salt and the pepper. We're going really, really, really simple today and so we don't need a lot of seasonings. The vegetables and the meat are just going to pull out all those delicious flavors all by themselves. So let's head outside to where my grill is set up. I have it set on high for everything. I have no idea what that is. It's sort of grossing me out. We're gonna we'll take care of that in a minute. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and have it set on high and then turn it down so it's right around 400 degrees. I'm gonna take all my bell peppers and just put them flat on the top with on the top grill where it's a little bit cooler um, and just let those cook up. They are going to take just as long as the steak. We're going to turn them once. Everything on here you'll see is very, very quick and easy. So we'll just get those bell peppers going. The zucchini I knew I could put straight onto the grill and it would have been fine. Uh, but I didn't want to do that today just because I didn't, I wasn't 100% sure. So what I went ahead and did is just put a piece of aluminum foil onto the grill and cook them that way. It makes cleanup really easy. It makes it so that you're certain they're not going to stick to the grill. Um, and it sort of steams them just a tiny bit while they're cooking. 
Uh, so I really, really like this method. If you really wanted to, you could do the bell peppers this way too, because you'll see they'll fall through the grates. Um, but it's just the way I prefer to do it. The last thing I'm going to get onto the grill is my meat. Um, there's no seasoning at all on this meat. I actually just literally put it on, uh, and then once I washed my hands, I came back and did a little bit of salt and pepper. I didn't want to do a ton of flavors on this. I wanted it to be simple and easy, and I just wanted to, um, I just wanted to be able to taste the food. One of the things that made me decide to make this for dinner the other night was my friend said, what do you want to eat? And I said, red meat. I really like steaks. I figured this would be a really good way to do it. And I love the flavors. When you cook steak properly, you don't need anything fancy to make them better. So we're gonna go ahead and get the rest of this onto the grill, get the grill closed up, and then, sorry guys, I had to move it. I didn't have enough room for everything. Um, get it closed up, and then we are going to wait for the cooking to happen. Did I say cooking to happen? I might have meant go wash my hands, and then, you know, season the meat like I told you I was gonna season it again we're going really really simple salt and pepper that's it uh, we just want to bring out that flavor a little bit okay so now we're gonna let this sit for about five minutes So I sped this up here a little bit just because you don't need a five minute compilation of me flipping meat over. You know that the meat is ready to get turned when it does not stick very heartily to the grill. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get all my zucchini turned over. If you see my meat, it's right around a half an inch thick. This is actually the purple, perfect thickness for um, everything that's on my grill. It's all gonna cook in the same amount of time. Um, so we're gonna get everything turned over. You see me flipping over my bell peppers right now. Uh, and yeah, it's halfway there. Are you guys having fun? Yeah. Okay, so overall these have now been on the grill for seven to ten minutes, give or take a few. Not very long at all. These steaks are really, really thin. You don't want to cook them for longer than that or you're going to end up with a really well done. Mine here are a medium. That one there up on top, that's actually a rare steak. Um, I personally like my steaks between rare and medium rare. I'm going to give it a couple of minutes, let it cook while I get the rest of the vegetables off, but that's really how well done I enjoy mine. When I first met both my husband and my best friend, um, they both really enjoyed their steaks well done. Uh, since they've been around me and since I've been the one that cooks for them, they both have come around to the idea of having a steak that's more medium. It's really good because they're enjoying the flavor more. We're teaching our kids to eat more medium steaks too. They seem to like them. When other people cook them well done for them, they're really not happy about it. Um, as you see, I'm also pulling my vegetables off the grill. They're all ready to go. My zucchini needs maybe a minute longer, but not much. So I'm just gonna balance between pulling my steak off, or flipping my steak, making sure it's cooked well, and getting these rest of these vegetables off the grill. They don't need to be cooked all the way through, they just need to be hot to get that delicious flavor out.
So these kids are seriously enjoying the bouncy house. They're loving it through and through. And we couldn't be happier that my friend was willing to bring it over and share it with us. Uh, but I have a little bit more to do back in the kitchen. What is a steak without a Caesar salad? Now, I know that I could buy Caesar dressing and make my own salad with the croutons and everything, but these bags of Caesar salad mix are $2 at Aldi, and two bags feeds our family. My kids are those kids that would rather eat a sa Caesar salad over anything, and so because we have friends with us, we're gonna make three bags of salad together. This is fast, it's easy, I get greens into their little bodies. It's really, really good. Probably the best Caesar salad I've ever had that is store-bought. I couldn't recommend this more. So I'm gonna whip this up really quick and then we're gonna go ahead and eat dinner. All right, so there you have it. My steak, my peppers, and my Caesar salad. Uh, oh yeah, and that zucchini too. So, uh, confessions of a grown-up. I fed this to my best friend for the first time in a long time. Um, and since we made this, she has had it probably four or five times. Um, not necessarily the steak, but definitely the grilled vegetables. She really, really enjoyed them. Uh, so we're definitely making them again. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Alright guys, so that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I know we really did. Um, just a little note, I just started up my Facebook page, Just Another Shilling, on Facebook.com. Um, I went ahead and put a page there because I am not allowed to uh, monetize my channel yet. I have to get a thousand subscribers and four thousand minutes of watch time. Um, I know I'm going to get there. I know you guys are going to help me get there. And it's going to be great. But up until then, anything that I like or enjoy using, you can go head over to my Facebook page um, and it will be there for you. I put the link down in the description below also. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye. What do you want to do? <laughs> what are you going to say? The bus song? Yeah. Okay, sing it. <laughs> <laughs>